Okay, here we are on uh, for another video, and what we're going to do in this video is we're going to add an interactive Google Map um, into our site. So uh, let's imagine you've got a locations page and you want people to be able to find out where your smoothie bars are. So let's move away. I'm currently looking at my home page, uh, but I want to go to my locations page, and I've already put a bit of information here. So I've put a picture of a bar, I've said it's London, I've put in um, an address and I've put some opening hours and you could put a phone number in, you could put a, a Twitter uh, link or anything you like really um, to help people uh, identify where your bars are. But that's the information I've got so far, now I want to put a map in. So I'm going to go to my insert menu, pretty much everything I ever need to insert is in the insert menu, it's a top tip for you, and go to interactive objects and Google map. And here we can search for a location. So I've pretended that mine is, if you have a look, I've got an address 122 Regent Street in London, uh, which is highly unrealistic given the prices, but there we go. So let's search for that search. Here we are, here's Regent Street, um, and we can just take a guess as to where 122 might be and wouldn't it be nice to have a little marker to say that um, Smoothie World is here particularly as Ice Bar London is nearby and we probably want to compete with them so let's add a marker and we can click where we want it so let's pretend we're right actually let's be right opposite Ice Bar let's get the business from them so in we go and we just give it a name and we can just write Smoothie World London Okay, and we can put some information here if we want to hover over label. Um, so we could put in opening hours. And I can't remember what I said, so let's just say Monday to Friday, 10 till 6 p.m. or something like that, and leave it at that. Okay, and press OK. And we can sort of see what happens. If I click on it, it gives me the information I put in that little uh, dialog box there. So we can add extra information there if you wanted to. Again, you can put your phone number in or anything you like in there really. Uh, so that's all you have to do. If you wanted to have multiple uh, locations, then we can just add another one. So let's pretend we uh, have uh, a, a couple on Regent Street. Um, so let's put one down near Piccadilly Circus. Okay, and again, we could call this Smoothie World. Uh, Piccadilly uh, and we'll just leave that as default and again we could put in here the opening hours. Let's make this one, this is in a particularly good place, let's say it's 20, 24, 24 hours. Okay and then OK again. So now we have two uh, and we can just press OK and now we just drag where we want to put it. So I'm going to make it pretty big and just move up into place. And notice how it sort of loads up the map for us. So if we uh, now preview this page, here we are on our page, we're previewing it now, and this is a proper interactive Google map that I can click around, uh, I can click on these, and I can find out uh, a bit of information about them. If I hover over, it tells me it's Smoothie World Piccadilly, Smoothie World London. So uh, yeah, you can do whatever you like. It's, it's, it's standard Google Maps. You can drop the little man in and do some street view. Um, so everything there for us, just as a, a normal Google Map would do. So there you go, pretty cool. So um, I hope that you are able to do the same. Um, I think your sites will really benefit from a nice bit of interactivity like this. Uh, it's a really professional feature to add in and it's certainly the sort of thing that we'd be looking for. Um, if you're aiming for those top grades. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing what you do.